Mama! Look at the size of these! That's right, you're seeing it right. Check this out. Kablamo! It's like the size of my head. I've got popcorn falling off from the shipping. This box, it's a huge box, sent to me from my buddy ugh, at Expert Designs, Wayne Winton. Check it out, he's an inventor. Expert Designs down in the video description box down below. 92 bucks to send this box to me and there's a reason why. Woo, it's like a party going on. This is a special tire. He is an inventor, he's actually inventing tires for a rescue robot. Hallelujah, right here. Doing his best to help out the fire and rescue teams with people that are drowning in a lake, a frozen lake. Check out these chains. Check out these tires. This, I could tell you, it's, he doesn't mind. I asked him, I said, do you want me to tell them what these tires are made out of? Because this is ridiculous compared to the size of the stock tire. That's right, the stock Summit tire is that big. So these are substantially larger, okay? Now, I've been doing lots of videos inside, getting ready for the winter months coming up. Well, they're basically here already, but with things like this, this chain, and the chains he sent to me, these are gonna be fantastic to watch for RC adventures in the coming months. Well, coming weeks even, maybe. Now, these here, these tires are actually made out of foam. They're made to float on water. These chains are actually made so when the tires are turning on the water, on the summit, or on the rescue bot, that these can actually float right on the surface and crawl out on the ice. So if they need to take out a life jacket, they need to take out a flotation device, they need to use this as a flotation device, it's available. These are pretty sharp though, so I wouldn't suggest that. But the idea is here. Now this isn't the first time I've had a shipment from Wayne. In fact, he sent me a group of chains for 1.9 tires, 2.2 race style tires, and he also, I bet, in this box sent me one for the stock tires, okay? without the flotation tires. Now, he did the rims on the inside. These are perfectly round. He actually used truck bed liner on the outside for the actual grip. You see that, all the tread, the tread on there? That's what he did back in his, um, in his uh, workshop. Now, I did pull off the bolts. You can see that I'm getting ready for uh, the winter season. Bum, bum, ba, da, ba. Use my fancy little driver here. Getting all these things ready so I'm going to be able to go out and have a good time in the snow and the ice because there is a lot in Calgary, where I live in Canada, is actually going to be, uh, well, it is currently covered in snow. So I'm a little behind the eight ball. I want to dig in here and have a look even more. Ugh. Now I'm looking. I'm seeing more tires, that's good. Thank you Wayne, by the way, and all the viewers, because I know you guys are dying for me to get the Summit out there. We will. Look at these. I love inventors, man. Inventors just happen to love RC Sparks because, look at this, I made chains last year. They are not like these, look at that. Studded screws, okay? These chains are actually used for heavy one-to-one -one equipment, like the front end loaders, like things that need actual traction. Wayne at Expert Designs actually has videos of these chains in action, uh, and I gotta tell you, he's actually patented them. Hmm, very, very cool. So with these, or these, let's see, are they gonna fit? Oh yeah, they'll fit. Look how easy they are to get on. Once they're on like that, we link them together at the bottom, and all of a sudden you have yourself a nice studded tire, hey? Now he doesn't make these for the public, he will if there's like enough orders or whatnot. You go down to the, to the website and maybe one day he will, but for now he made these for me. That's nice. To show all the viewers out there, maybe I can even use the smaller set at the TTC next year, the tough truck competition that we usually attend. Now, 
I think they'll do very well in some applications. In fact, he said that the grip and the uh, actual traction from these are substantial from the tests that he did. And I'm looking forward to doing this on the ice. Look at this big beast. Let's see if I can get these other tires on here. Are they any heavier? You're probably wondering if they're heavy. They don't feel too heavy at all. In fact, they feel a lot like the stock tire. Um, not too bad. I could have been more prepared, but I wanted you to have a decent video. So you got to see what the two were on the front. These actual hexes on the summit on mine are very tight, but it is the first time I've actually uh, undone them. So there we go. Done. One, two. Buckle my shoe. Here we go. Get all the popcorn off of there. Gonna have to sweep up in here. Probably vacuum because of the static electricity. Getting these ready. I'm gonna have to charge up some major batteries, man, because this is gonna kick some serious butt. I'm excited. You can hear it in my voice. You can always tell when I'm excited about RCs and new products just from the way I present in the show. Uh, you know, it's, uh, well, it's a pretty cool thing that I get to share all this neat stuff with you guys. And I appreciate the, all the nice comments and stuff that are left in the below the video description box. Each video I must get at least 200 comments and I try to answer as many as I can. Now, we'll get these off here. I mean in the first day. <laughs> and we'll get out the last tire. In there, here we go. $92 just to ship the box to me so I could put it up here for you guys to see. Now I don't think these tires, I'm pretty sure at the moment, during the time of this filming, these tires here are not available to the public. Only because they take some time to make and he's actually just seeing how well they work out for the rescue folks. Oh man, I thought I had a monster truck in the summit before. Now it's a super monster. I'm gonna hold this up for you in a moment. I'm gonna get to charging some batteries. I'm getting all my rigs ready. Everything's getting the tires and the chains and the tracks and all this specialty stuff. I wanna make sure this is not heavy, but look at that! You guys were wondering what I was gonna do with the summit. <sighs> yeah, that's a beast right there. If I've ever seen one, how heavy is it? No heavier than uh, stock really, except for some of those aluminum chains with the studs on them. Not too bad. Huh. Right on. Thanks a lot for watching today, guys. I got some other things I gotta do. I've been putting out a video every day recently, so I got some ketchup. I gotta even work on my Losi, man. I haven't even got there yet. There's just been too much to do, but I'm getting there. So there you go. My friend Wayne down from Expert Designs. Like I said, in the video description box below, you can go and check out all the information about the stuff they do. Hopefully, you'll like the video. Just click subscribe if it's your first time here. And if you want, leave a comment in the video section down below. Thanks everyone, I appreciate you watching. See you on the next RC Adventures.